I want you to take a look at this headline from the New York Post. It reads, Thin Nude Line. Former Texas cop and live PD star trades badge for OnlyFans. Now that is quite a career change. That former officer's name is Andrea Zendejas, and she was a fan favorite on A&E's Live PD, as you can see from here. Um, once known as the Bun of Justice because of that rather large bun of hair that she wore as she patrolled the streets of El Paso, Andrea Zendejas has decided to lose the uniform. And she's also decided to lose a few other articles of clothing, too. And Andrea joins us now. Officer Zendejas, I'm telling you, I nearly lost my lunch. I thought, that's Andrea with the thing and the thing on the thing? What made you decide to do <laughs> such a... <laughs> An incredible switch of careers. <laughs> well, um, it was never really part of the plan. Um, I was leaving the police department anyway. Um, I had set it up to where um, I would be leaving this summer. Um, one day during patrol, it was a joke, like a running joke, because uh, my social media following, um, my partner was like, hey, you should open an OnlyFans. <laughs> you have, you know, you have a lot of fans. And I was like, no, you know, we just joked about it. And uh, when I dropped my paperwork to, um, to actually leave the department, I'm like, eh, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> well, so, that's a good question. Uh, so what's, the, what's the worst that can happen? I often wonder that. I mean, <laughs> you do have like 70,000 Twitter fans and 28,000 Instagram fans. So it is kind of logical you would do well. Uh, but did you get any blowback from fellow officers or anybody else who pruriently might have said, hey, what are you doing? I did, actually. Um, I, so I started about a month uh, from leaving the department. So, um, and I was kind of just kind of flying under the radar with it. I wasn't really promoting it or anything like that because I'm not fully, fully nude um, and I don't do any kind of pornographic material. <laughs> so it's a little different for me. It's a lot of uh, plus size lingerie stuff, never anything to do with the department that I was affiliated with. Um, so when I, when I opened it, of course, it's like high school, right? Word gets around. Um, <laughs> people start talking. So yes, I did get a little, a little bit of uh, backlash for that, but that's okay. It's over, and sure. I'm, uh, I'm on so my way. So question, question for you. Um, you know, the, for those who might not understand, you know, you can look at anybody's Instagram for free um, as long as they accept you if it's private. But then the OnlyFans, you pay a sub fee. That's called a subscription fee, and yours, I think, is somewhere around fifteen dollars. Which, girl, that's high. You know, a lot of them are around nine dollars <laughs> or four ninety nine. I'm told. Um, so, are you <laughs> are you raking it in? Like, how many subs do you have? Um, right now, as of today, I'm pushing somewhere around um, 2,100. So that's pretty solid. So pretty... And, I mean, this could be a full <laughs> career for you, right? It, it's definitely a full-time job, for sure, 100%. Um, it's a lot of interaction with the subscribers, um, and uh, it's very time-consuming, which is it's okay. It's a, it's a little bit of a... Uh, well, it's a lot of bit of a career change for me because I wasn't really planning on working for the next uh, year or so. I was trying to just, you know, chill out and kind of relax and enjoy life for a little bit. And, um, well, now I fell into another full-time job. So, <laughs> but it's okay. So have you it's, heard it's from, uh, have you heard from my, my former colleague when I was working with, you know, Big Fish and doing live rescue and filled in a few times on Live PD? Um, my former colleague, Dan Abrams, the host of Live PD, is now my new colleague here at News Nation. Have you talked to him oh, at nice. all? Or have you, uh, does he know that you, you got the new uh, OnlyFans page? I'm sure everyone knows <laughs> by this point, but um, no, I don't, I don't talk to them regularly. <laughs> News gets around. It does get around. Hey, real quick question for you, because I know for, um, for a lot of people, you know, they, they question whether they want to do that, whether they have a difference, uh, you know, in the moral choices or uh, pressure from community. But you also have kids, right? I don't know how old they are, but what do they, how old are they and, and what do they think about it? So I do. I have a 15-year-old and an 8-year-old. They, they know that I do 
pictures because I do a lot of um, professional pictures as well. Um, and I make it very known, especially to my daughter, um, that not doing anything ratchet, as they say. <laughs> um, it's just a lot of uh, plus size modeling and uh, people really, really like it. So, but I, I, you know, I make sure my kids know, um, you know, mom, if anybody asks, mom just retired. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, well, listen, um, this tweet you announced um, on July 27th, uh, this was your last day, so it was really uh, heartfelt. You said, last days on patrol, super emotional time for me. I will miss my brothers and sisters in blue. It's a family like no other, and I'll always have their backs no matter what. It's a different kind of love and relationship when you're willing to die for one another. So, Andrea, when we come back, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about live PD being canceled, not due to the the ratings, but also it was really for the like the PR reasons in the height of the protests surrounding the murder of George Floyd. So I'm going to ask you a little bit about whether your decision to leave the force and, and send that email that was so sad uh, had anything to do with the increased scrutiny of people, you know, looking at the police. When we come back, the answer from Andrea Zendejas, Officer Zendejas.